So my name is Sydney Roberts. I'm Adam, Adam Saleh. My name is Tatiana Pomnia. You have the power to really execute on your dreams. I feel like mental health is really, really important. I think by the end of the school year, your dreams would be bigger than you imagined. There's a lot more you gotta learn. Damn, we're gonna run that back. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, going to like the EOP office. I think it's like educational opportunity program, something like that. I can't remember the acronym, but yeah, I would speak to like the counselors there and they would kind of tell me about the jobs to kind of look into if I didn't want to go to law school, like right out the gate and I wanted to take those gap years. And I mean, that was like really, really helpful just so I knew I had another route. And I'm saying this as a K through JD, I would say like having that professional experience I feel like would have made my life a lot easier to a certain degree. Just being able to kind of like fill up that resume and have like very intellectual and intentional like reference list, like not just having like, you know, a professor from undergrad, but you know, having like, I don't know, like the lead district attorney or like a public defender, like having those people kind of backing me, I definitely know probably would have made my life a lot easier when applying to law school. So I would say my fourth tip would be to find and maintain relationships with mentors so it can ease the process of applying to grad school, especially if you want to take those gap years. I was able to find those mentors. Luckily enough, my main mentor then and now, uh, she actually went to Berkeley for undergrad and she actually lived on the Afro floor with me. So, I mean, after she applied to law school and, you know, she's at, like I said, she's about to be a 3-0 here at Berkeley Law. I mean, I kind of just reached out to her once the law school application kind of process started and I just had her on my phone, like just blowing her up on a consistent basis to kind of let me know what type of references should I be looking for, how much time should I be spending on my personal statement, how many times should I be editing it and things of that nature. So she really helped ease the process in that regard. I mean, the, I think the main way that I was able to kind of make sure that my relationships with my mentors were authentic and sustainable, I mean, just reaching out to her on a consistent basis outside of just like, oh, can you provide me with this feedback and things of that nature? Like just making sure we were still friends at the end of the day, because I mean, that was the baseline for that. So, you know, like going to lunch with her, going to watch the movies, like making sure that friendship relationship was maintained and obviously the mentorship kind of built upon that. So that's kind of how I went about it. So I would say my fifth tip would be if you aren't, if you don't want to go to grad school, like that's fine. I think that's totally fine. And I would say like, if you do want to, like I said earlier, like I'm a K through JD, which means I've been in school since I was six, right? Like you don't have to choose that path. I would say like applying to grad school, being a grad student, it's not linear. So yeah, if you want to go later, that's totally fine. I think the biggest way one can understand whether grad school is part of their path or not would be to be speaking to current grad students. Like, like I said, I wanted to apply to law school, but to be able to speak to my mentor and kind of ask her like how it's going for her and being able to get that feedback, I think was really, really important. And I think honestly too would be, I mean, tying it into another tip I gave, getting that job like post, like post undergrad to kind of see like, okay, do I want to do this on a consistent basis? Is this gonna make me happy? Is this gonna, you know, fulfill me? What I know now, if I knew that then, I think the biggest thing I would have done differently in undergrad would be not my major. Honestly, like, yeah, I majored in political science and it was fine, but I didn't really have a good time with it. And I think it's because I came in initially thinking I had to major in something legal in order to go to law school. And now that I'm in law school and I speak to the people, like I speak to my colleagues on a consistent basis, like most of them didn't major in anything law related. People did philosophy, people did English, like I would go back and major honestly in African-American studies because I had, I enjoyed those classes a lot more. My friends were in it and I was able to connect with the professors more. So I definitely, I think that would be the biggest thing I would change, my major, definitely. Hi, this is Tatiana and these are your five tips for incoming Cal students and thanks for watching. So I would say my fourth tip would be to find and maintain relationships with mentors, uh, post, run that one more time.